Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, good seeing ya. <laughs> Hi guys, Top Pops here, and today I'm going to be opening up a couple cool packages that I got in the mail. So, let's get started. All right, so I have five packages here. Four of them are from the Funko shop, and one of them is from our friends over in Seattle. So we're gonna open that one up last, I think. So let's just get started with one of these because I have a lot of fun packages that I wanna open up. Uh, let's start with this one here because this one, um, this one over here I'm trying to do. This one here was one that was kind of funny. So I ran out of tape to cover the labels, and you guys probably have seen my blue tape that I use all the time. But uh, this one I ran out of tape, so I, uh, I just cut it out. I used scissors and just cut it out of there. So I thought that was kind of funny, but let's get into this guys. Let's see what it is. Um, so four of these are Funko shop ones, like I had mentioned. And then one of them is technically from the Funko HQ. So we got some cool stuff in it today. But uh, yeah, let's look at this guys and see what we got. I don't remember what these ones are, but they're all ones that I ordered recently. So they can't be too old. Oh, okay, cool, sweet. All right, so this one here is something pretty cool. So if you guys don't know, Funko's been working on their Pop Myths line recently with the Loch Ness Monster, Bigfoot. There's four different versions of Bigfoot. Oh, five different versions of Bigfoot. And now there's this one, and then another one that we're gonna be opening up as well. So let's get into this here, guys. You ready? Three, two, one. Ooh, hoo, hoo. I haven't seen this one in person yet. Okay, so this is the Chupacabra. This one came out a couple weeks ago, but I haven't had time to open it up. Now this is a sweet pop. Look at that. I love how they also gave him a logo there as well, like the Chupacabra logo. It's got the name in there and then everything going on. I think this thing's great. And it's got some really nice details on it as well, especially the ears. Kind of reminds me of like a, hmm, almost like a wolf in a way. Like I think it's a mixture of a couple different um, animals, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so I don't know too much about the Chupacabra. I don't know about the myth about the Chupacabra. I know more about the other one that uh, is Bigfoot and Loch Ness Monster. I mean, those ones I know more about, but I really do want to pick this one up because it is a really, really neat figure. So here we go, guys. In number 19 in the Pop Myths line, we have Chupacabra. Let's get on to the next thing here. Um, I know what this one is because I haven't ordered anything that's like two pops in a while. So I know what this is. So let's save this one, but uh, let's get into this one here. Okay. So this one, here, um, like I said, I order lots of pops off the Funko shop. Also, speaking of one, Toucan today. I missed it, in case you guys are wondering. Um, I mean, I'm sure most of you guys did if you were going for it. It was limited to a thousand pieces. Um, I remember a while ago, I don't know if this was true or not, but I, I don't, guys, correct me if I'm wrong. I thought Brian or Mariotti, who is the CEO of Funko, had mentioned something about how he didn't want another Tony the Tiger to happen, where it was super limited, and then right away it shot up in price on uh, eBay and stuff like that. And uh, same thing happened with Toucan today. I don't remember if that was exactly what he said, and I don't want to quote anybody or anything like that, but I'm pretty sure somebody had mentioned that to me um, a little while ago that he had mentioned that, which is kind of sad because... Um, I missed out on Toucan, and I'm sure a lot of fans of Toucan and Fruit Loops m missed out on it as well, and a lot of people picked it up because it was limited to a thousand pieces. But I did notice this, though. This is something that I was excited about. They did not say that it was limited to a thousand pieces on the Funko app, nor the Funko shop. So I think that was really great that they did that, so that way if people, you know, might have just been like, oh, you know, it's just a metallic Toucan, and then the people that wanted it could have got it. I'm really glad that it went to a great cause as well. And because they're $15 each and there's a thousand pieces, that's $15,000, I believe, to um, a charity, which I don't remember exactly which one it was, but it went to a good cause. So there we go, guys. I, I'm sad that I didn't get it. I'm going to try and get it eventually. It is going for a lot of money on the aftermarket, but I will be trying my best to get one for the collection. But anyways, let's get on to this next figure here, which we have. I don't know what this is. Oh, perfect. We have the other myth here. Okay, so this is the pop myth. Let's go, you guys. Ready? The Minotaur, ooh. Okay, so this one was exciting. This one just recently came out. This one was more of a more, it's more of a recent one. The Chupacabra I've had kind of in the back for a little while now, but the Minotaur just recently came out. And this one's got a lot of great detail with it. Now, Funko makes their own boxes for it. You can tell that the Chupacabra and the Minotaur kind of have similar um, box arts when you look at them. Do you guys see what I mean there? It's probably just like where they're from more so, so they're kind of climate. Um, but yeah, this is really cool. So I'm, I'm a big fan of this one. I also noticed that, oh, it's, it's just something that's true and it happens all the time. Yes. Oh, does this bother anybody else? Okay, when sometimes when people, when um, they're packaged, the pop sticks up a bit. Do you guys see that there, how it doesn't hit the corner? And it bubbles up on the front of the box. This happens every once in a while because the insert hooks on it. I don't mind because it doesn't ruin the box. It's just you have to fix that sometimes or otherwise it starts to get bowed. Um, but yeah, there we go, guys. So there's the Minotaur. Really, really detailed figure. I love this thing. 
Um, so I had to get it for the collection. This is number 20 in the Pop Myths line, but let's keep going guys because we have three more packages that I wanna get to. Let's do this one. So now I know what this one is and uh, I'm really excited about opening this one up. So uh, yes, yeah, this, this is if, if I think it is what I think it is. I have a lot of Funko Shop packages just back there because I don't get to, um, I know I used to do like a P.O. box opening slash like uh, Funko Shop haul, like Funko haul every week. Now we've kind of cut it down a bit because I have a lot of other videos that I'd like to do. Um, but yeah, I want to do these as much as possible. And let me know if you guys like these videos as well, where I just sit here and open up pa packages to show you guys what's new. Because this is the easiest way for me to kind of show off the new figures that I've got. But anyways, here we go, guys. Another ad icon. Ooh, this one looks good. Okay, so this is the Flocked Energizer Bunny. Oh, I love this thing. It says still going on the back. That's their quote or their uh, slogan. Um, they've got Energizer Max battery on the back there. The flocked Energizer Bunny just looks really great. I love this thing. Um, also, my local grocery store, I noticed, has a an Energizer Bunny statue um, in there on top of the thing. And I would love to see if I can get one of those somehow. If you guys know how to get one of those, they're going like on top of the battery kind of like display. And they're like a hard um, kind of like, I don't even know what you call it, like plaster almost, I would say. They're pretty heavy. Um, they're not like just like paper or whatever. So I think it'd be really cool to see if we can get one of those. I don't know where we'd get one, but uh, it would be really awesome to see if we could try to. Anyways, let's get into the next thing here because this is a two pack that I've had, or not a two pack, it's two pops. Um, you had to buy them together. Together, though this one was one that sold out as well and I'm so glad that I could get it um, and yeah this is a really really cool figure so let's check it out and let's see what we've got inside of here okay yeah this is good okay so it comes in two together like this which is neat uh, yeah it's gonna say what it is on there no it just is assorted okay but you guys might see it anyways I don't really care it's the Flintstones two pack or the two pops I keep saying two pack but it comes together like this um, so yeah, these are two that I really, really wanted. I love, we're getting more Flintstone ones. I have all the Dinos. I've got, uh, um, I don't have any of the originals. Now that I have Fred and Barney, it's nice because then I've kind of got some of the original ones here. I mean, this is them wearing their water buffalo hats. Um, it's still really cool though. I hope they make great Gazoo in his, uh, car or in his spaceship would be really neat. These boxes look decent, I think. They don't look too bad. This one's got a little bit of ding in the corner there, but not too bad. I mean, it's a little bit dinged up in the corners, but it's not horrible. Um, but there's Barney Rubbles. I'll put them in a protector and you guys won't even notice it. Um, you guys can see there, it's got a little crinkle in the corner, some going on, nothing big, I don't mind. And then this one here is pretty much the same. It looks, looks no, it's a little bit nicer than that one. But there's Fred Flintstone right there. Really, really great figure. So I like these guys, they're pretty sweet. Um, some of my favorite ones from the Flintstone line. I was also thinking maybe Fred was the tallest Funko Pop. We'd have to test that out. The tallest one that we had was Surtur, and I don't know where he is. If I had him out, I would do... Oh, he's right there. Give me a second. I have to test it, guys, because then later on I'm just going to be annoyed. So, okay, hold on. Let me get this here. All right, guys, so let's check out Fred here and see if he's taller. All right, here we go. You guys ready? Okay. Ooh, geez, that is close. Uh, no, you know what it is? It's because Surtur's a bobblehead. If he wasn't, it'd be much, much closer. But yeah, it looks like Fred is just a little, a little bit taller. Or no, a little bit shorter, sorry. By about a quarter of an inch, I'd say. So there we go, guys. We found out Fred is shorter. It was one that I wanted to test out. Um, it's, it's a quick test. You never know. I am still looking for one taller than Searcher. I think it's unfair because he has a bobblehead and he's got those horns. So really, if you're looking at it, the head goes to like here, but then the horns go way, way higher. Um, so yeah, I don't think we're ever going to get anything taller than Searcher. But anyways, let's put this away and let's move on to the last package. All right, guys, so here is our last package. Now, like I had mentioned earlier, this one's coming all the way from Seattle from Rob, Grant, and Audrey. Again, thank you so much for sending this over. I know it's inside here, but you guys don't. So we're going to make this a bit of a secret for you guys, I think. So, uh, yeah, let's do it from the bottom here. Uh, let's see. This one I've had for a little while. I just haven't had a good unboxing video to put it into because I've just wanted to save it for some good figures as well. Um, so here we go here, guys. There is some really great stuff inside of here that we're going to be able to open up. So, all right, here we go. Woo, I'm excited. Aha. Okay, so the first thing I'm seeing here is this bad boy right here. They were so nice to help me out with this. So they had one of these, or they had a couple of them at the Funko HQ, and it was the last one I needed for my Simpsons Trios of Horror set. So now, guys, we finally have Evil Groundskeeper Willie. 
There we go, guys. Now we've got all of them from this set. This is one that I really, really wanted. It looks great. I love this thing. So anyways, guys, there's Evil Groundskeeper Willy. Something that's going to go great in my Simpsons Trios of Horror set. I did get this guy, but I never did get the Hot Topic exclusive um, Groundskeeper Willy. So there we go, guys. This one was the FYE exclusive. I got it at the convention, but I never did grab that one. So cool that we got it. Thank you guys so much for picking that up. Now let's check out. There should be two more things inside of here. Okay, so let's do this one first. Okay, so they also sent over. This was before we had found out that there was any of the uh, Paka Paka machines in Canada, um, actually, and there wasn't any at my local game stops either. So here we go. Here, guys, we've got Soda Cats. We're going to be opening up one of these. If you guys don't know, they're Funko's vending machines. They actually got this out of one of the vending machines, not just like the ones in Canada where it's like, here's a, here's a display with some balls in it. That's not as fun. I, but the fun part is the actual machine. So let's open this up, guys, and let's see who we got. Ooh, I don't have this one. This is the Cat Paw Chino. Now, what is the rarity on this one? Let me check this here. Because I know I don't think I have this one. Uh, no, this is the 1 in 12 Cat Paw Chino. I do not have this figure. Looks pretty snazzy. There we go right there, guys. Anyways, thank you guys so much for picking up one of these as well. So at the time, I had no clue where I was going to be able to get these. And this one's name is... Oh, is it even here? Oh, it's the Cat Pacino. And then there is the bonus figure, which is a 1 in 36, and it's the the dragon, which is kind of like their mascot for this, which I think it looks really great. Um, so there we go there, guys. This is also Series 1, so I hope Funko starts to make more series for these guys, because um, I think that'd be really cool to get more of these and, you know, more drinks and more cats. Because, um, you know, they, they do look pretty cute. Now, the last thing we have inside of this package is something pretty big. Now, this I've mentioned this on the channel before, what's inside of here. And no, it's not Tony the Tiger 10-inch. Um, I actually have one of these, though. And what had happened was I hadn't been able to find this one anywhere. I looked, I scoured, I couldn't find it. And then as soon as they said, yes, we'll send one over, guess what? Guess who finds one? Me. And it was on sale. Um, so I was like, for sure, let's pick one up. We'll do a giveaway with that one. And then when they send that one in, we'll just keep this one because I, I really do thank you guys so much for helping me out with this. It's just the fact that I, I feel like I couldn't pass it up for $20. And uh, it'll make a great giveaway or we can do something with it later on. I don't know what yet. And we're not, it's not it's not available right now for giveaway. Don't don't think I'm giving it away as, as of right now. But we do have this here, guys. So let's check this out and let's show you guys which one they sent over. It is the Futura 10-inch Boba Fett. Look at this thing. It is crazy cool. There we go, right there, guys. Hold on. Oh, yeah, it does have the big only at Target sticker. Okay, guys, so there we go, guys. There's the 10-inch Boba Fett. Again, Rob, Audrey, Grant, thank you so much for sending this over um, and helping me out with this one. It was really awesome that you did. You did not have to do this at all. Um, and you guys sent over three really cool things that I needed for my collection. And this one was, well, I mean, this one was just for fun, but I also needed it for my collection because I did not have it. So thank you guys. But that's going to do it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more from me in the future, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that. But this has been an episode of Top Pops. Popsters, thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow.